Okay, so as I'm crossing the Mare Island Bridge over here from my office, I'm gonna go, we're going to go over now to uh, uh, Sandy Lane, which is basically, um, last week we went, we went to uh, the Carquinez Heights. We're not gonna go as far down all the way to uh, the Maritime um, Academy. We're actually gonna go uh, a little bit, we're gonna cut a little bit shorter and get off on Sandy Lane Road, which is gonna take us to a neighborhood right by the water. This is the place where the homes there are just the backyards are on the actual water, which is great if you like to go fishing. <laughs> Just go off in your backyard here and start fishing. So uh, let's go check out that neighborhood and uh, see what it's like. Okay, so we're going down Sonoma Boulevard, just like last time towards Maritime Academy. You can see it once again, this is where it's a little bit more industrial uh, before it gets more uh, residential. There was a house here that I drove by kind of quick last time. I wanna see if I can still find it. It was the one where it looked more like it was built in the, the late 1800s. 1890 95 it's come up here shortly yeah this this is the home right here that's a, an older home there looks like it was built way back in the day but uh now we're gonna make a, a right here on uh, sandy lane so i was gonna i was coming down sonoma boulevard as we go towards sandy beach lane and i just happened to catch us on this side i made a little detour right here this is obviously a new develop new development looks like they're building right here right off of Sonoma and I don't know what street I turned on. Uh, I'll probably see that in a second, but wow, that's interesting. So it looks like it's coming along. We got a bunch of stuff happening over here. It's gonna be, oh, I think it's Magazine. No, yeah, Magazine Street. So we're on the corner of Magazine in Sonoma. Make a right of Magazine, you definitely get that uh, complex being built over there. So that was interesting. So now we're heading up towards the next right is gonna be Sandy Beach Lane and uh, we'll hit that neighborhood when we get there. So as we go down, I'll show you the map again. If we go down here, I'm right by Carcanus Park, and we're gonna keep on going and make our next left right here on uh, Sandy, well, if, I, if you take this road here, by the way, that'll take us right back up to uh, Carcanus Heights. But now we're gonna take the next one here. It says no outlet on this sign here, but that's where we're gonna make our left, which is still Sandy Beach uh, Lane. Or it could be drive. <laughs> I didn't look at the map carefully. But anyway, I know it's Sandy Beach, so we keep coming this way. And you can start to see the water. We're at the water's edge now. There's a lot for sale. Thing owns by a lot. That's interesting. Put a house up right there. And you'll notice as we come down, this is the neighborhood we're talking about. I'm going to park the car and show you where we're at in the map real quick. Okay, so I came up right that road over there. As you can see, I'm right over here on Sandy Beach. Uh, it's a private residence. There's all kinds of like, homes right here. On the map, I'm gonna show you on the map right now where we are. I'm right about here. There's two parking lots. There's a small parking lot, which is the one I'm in right now. It's just a few cars here. And there's a bigger parking lot in the back. But as we come this way, you can see uh, all these homes, some of them are really brand new, some of them are not brand new, some are actually newer. They actually remodeled many of them. Some of them have been here since the 30s, maybe 40s, a little older, but I can see they've been doing a lot of uh, work around them. So this is your backyard and you'll see as we go down that way, like all those homes, their actual backyard is a pier that goes right into the water here. Um, and I think it's pretty cool the way they make all these houses here like this right up against the water. So let's take a, take a, tour, look, take a tour. As you come this way, you'll see how the backyards are laid out, kind of like right there. You got your little pier going on over there. And all the homes are that way as we go this way. So let's take a little walk. And one thing I like about these homes is just the way, even though they're all along the water, every, every almost every home has their own little bit of character to them. Like that one's brand new over here. Well, again, not brand new. It's been remodeled, looks like it's all newer. This is a little older. This has that, uh, you know, uh, driftwood look to it. This home here. And uh, as you keep walking, you see how well decorated they're going to be here. And I definitely have, even though I can drive to the second parking lot, after the second parking lot, very difficult to drive because there's no more road. It's <laughs> just a walkway. It's kind of a long walkway, maybe about a couple hundred yards, maybe, yeah, about 150 yards. Altogether, it's probably 200 yards here. Look at here. Here's a home that's for sale. So there's one home for sale here now. I think it's also another one if I saw on the MLS correctly, but we'll, we'll see. Here's another home here. You can see, they. I don't know how the actual 
when you get further down, how the trash actually gets taken because it's kind of hard. I guess they have to actually walk in there. I don't know what Sea Haven is here on Sandy Beach. Well, looks like a business, home business. And here's another home for sale. Actually, this one here has a super box on it. So that means it may be vacant. If that's the case, I'll check in the MLS. If you guys want to come back, uh, vote here. Yeah, do me a favor. In the comments, see if you want to, if you want to go inside the house. If you want to go inside the house, we'll go in there. We'll take a tour and see how it looks. Because this home here looks like they actually also remodeled it. Looks pretty newer with newer paint, newer windows. And then you got the deck here. And this is your backyard. Here's the neighbor's house. He's actually got a little spot here to do his boat thing there. It's actually pretty quiet. I just hear the water under, under the house. <laughs> so definitely no uh, crawl space under here. Okay, let's keep walking. So that was the last house before we come to the second parking lot. You can see this is right there. Yeah, it's a dead end. This is where it stops. But uh, you got one less opportunity to park here, and that's all, all on foot. Again, the homes, I, they, I guess they're making pretty colorful since they are pretty much, you know, waterfront homes. So after you walk through or park your car in the second parking lot, this is how the homes are laid out down here. There's one home here. And this is the walkway. I guess you got all your mailboxes here on this side. And we keep walking down this way. Now, although some of these homes were made probably, hey guys, how you doing? So although some of these homes were made probably in the 50s, maybe 60s, some, like I said, been a lot of remodeling done as well, but you know, all the architecture is pretty much the same. Now, they're all gated because their front yards aren't very big. And the reason why is because since this walkway, you got nothing but sheer mountain all the way up. So this is uh, pretty much it. You know, when you see the, the living rooms, I mean, the living rooms, the front rooms stop right about there. Uh, that's all you get for a front yard. But again, if you look back here, your backyard makes up for it, especially if you like the water. I remember this house. This house was actually for sale once a while back, and you can see this one's been completely uh, remodeled, and which looks really nice. And you can see this is your, your front yard here, pretty much just a little bit of space there, and of course, you know the backyard is up against the water. Then next to that one, we have a smaller home here, which is kind of cute, a little smaller back there. I like, again, the, the character of the fences. You know, they, they always change the fence. Like, that was just wood fence, and you got some bamboo <coughs> fence here. A little dog here. How you doing, doggy? Hi. And then, I guess, no, I, I, I guess you go up this way. Too. Hey, you can actually... why are you taking pictures of my property? Uh, who are you? What okay. the hell? Well, calm down. Number one, it's not your property. This is public land back oh, there. Okay. It is yeah. an easy okay. land. Um, anything, uh, anything public I can record. I'm a realtor. I have a client that wants to know about the area. I'm just showing them a picture of the area. You have a very nice home. I, I'm glad that's your property up there. It looks very nice too. I'm just showing it off a little bit to someone who might want to buy a home. There's two homes here for sale. They were interested in the area. Is that okay? Can I do? Is that legal, right? Yeah, it is legal. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words, and yet I'm one of the lucky ones. Anyway, so here we go. Um, so there's some lights over here on this side here, and you can actually go up this way here. And like I said, here's a nice fence, okay? It's all nice and private, but this is why you don't have a, a front yard because you got up against the wall here. And again, you can see here, the little front yard and then nice little home, little garden area for this home here. So they make them you know, medium sized to, as you saw back there, a lot bigger homes. And here again, this is, looks very uh, normal for the, for the actual environment here. It looks very like a little, you know, waterfront home. Colorful lights, it looks like they're all geared up for Halloween here too. 
Okay, so we're still walking. Like I said, I, I maybe I underestimated. Maybe it's more like 200 yards, not 100, because I'm still walking here. I'm trying to get to the end because the end is kind of cool. I think we're almost there. There's another nice home. I like the way, look at this, a lot of character right here, beautiful front door. Uh, you know, you can see the character also in the fencing. It's all a little bit different. This home, look at this home. They put this fence up. It's just, uh, uh, looks like a bunch of logs. Pier 35, I guess the address, and got an anchor here, all the way to a big old weight. A bowling, what's that, a bowling ball? Iron cast weight. Wow, interesting. Look at this fencing. It's all nice. You know, the little trees here. I don't know if they're palm trees or not, but you got this side over here. Like I said, see, when you put your garbage out over here, how does the garbage man come? They have to actually walk down here, I guess, pick them up. Oh, well, look at this little house. Or maybe, I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's like a house. Oh, here it is, I think. Oh, here we go. Now I know why. I guess it must be the front end of it. Yeah, it's actually a little garage, not a house. <laughs> We're in a real small house. But um, from that, here you go from that en entrance here you can go all the way down here obviously you might be a local down here to actually have access to this but uh, there's a um, on the map you can see it where i'm at right now this is where, exactly where i'm at if i were to if the gate was open i can actually walk all the way down let me see if i can get through the, there we go all the way down there nice little walkway i'm sure you can go fishing off there too but um and there you got the carcanus bridge over there and you can see this is that's Carquinez Heights up there. We didn't, I don't think we went down that street last week, but that's part of it. So I think this is part of Carquinez, Carquinez Heights, but it's the lower end on the north side, pretty much, because obviously we're not that far high. We're just right here, almost at water level. Actually, this is somebody's little, little get together here. I guess you can, can you imagine how I'd be sitting out here having a cup of coffee in the morning. That'd be kind of nice. Again, these type of homes aren't for everybody. Definitely for me. Uh, not for my wife though. She would. <laughs> You wouldn't approve of this, but I, I like this. Can you imagine living yeah. there, coming out to your deck there? Look, this guy even got a boat. How cool is that? And then just take off on your boat and have a good time. I love this area. Now, those two homes are for sale. If you want to see those, uh, you know what? Again, comment below if you like this. If you like this area, if you're in the area, you want to see. Let me know. Actually, I might even go open up anyway. But it'd be great if I could take some some uh, people with me. So if you want to come and see these homes, I'll be happy to show them to you. Um, even if you're in the market, not in this area in general, he's just kind of curious. That's fine. That's what I signed up for. I'll be happy to take you and uh, I'll see how they look. So that was it. That's that's this area here, uh, right here in uh, the lower end of Kirkness Heights on the on the north side, waterside property. So hope that gives you a good idea of what's actually uh, down here. You know what? Actually, I was gonna cut the video there, but I forgot to. I looked to my right. Wait, there's more. I didn't. I didn't go this far down. I thought that was the end. But if you keep on coming down. I've been here once or twice, but I think I stopped right there. So let me just see what's over here. Now, this is what my son calls adventuring. We're out here adventuring because I have no idea what's out here. So I keep on walking. Nice little thing. I guess they have little lights here for nighttime, which is kind of cool. Now the concrete turns to wood planks here. Ah, more surprising. Some nice hillside foliage up there. So I guess we're on Pier 42. I guess the home still keeps going here. Interesting. But yeah, so this is the end. Here we go. So we got the very last house right over here. Interesting. So now I can end it. Now I can say, yep, this is the end and uh, the neighborhood. So as I just said previously, when I come by, you can take a closer look in person up front. Just let me know.